In modern, one of the most popular and powerful decks is Blue Red Murktide Region. This is because it has, has great answers and is super efficient. While many people hate losing this deck, today we are going to be playing a list that can almost never lose to Blue Red Murktide Region. The deck that we're going to be playing in today's video is Tribal Walls. While walls are traditionally not that powerful, <laughs> Got he. Why is it so good against Blue Red Murktide? Well, this is because one of their more powerful cards is Ragman Nimble Pilfer. And all of our walls are O4s, meaning that they can block so profitably and almost never die to all of their removal spells. In addition to running Wall of Blossoms and Omens, we're running Axe Bang Guardian and Overgrown Battlement, which both make an insane amount of mana if they stick around for more than one turn. This means that we can easily cast our four Solitudes, our three Elishnorns, and three Arcades in this list. And if you haven't seen Elishnorn Mother of Machines yet, it is a five mana 4-7 vigilance that reads if a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger that ability triggers an additional time permanents entering the battlefield don't cause abilities of permits your opponents control to trigger this means elishnorn with our wall blossoms or omens are draw twos and if you have an ephemerate and ephemerate one of them this is a one mana draw four which is even better than ancestral recall but when looking at the list one of the biggest issues is that we're almost running all two drops so our solution to this is running chance of the annex chance of the annex is a seven mana five six flyer that reads you may reveal this card in your opening hand if you do when each opponent casts the first spell of the game counter that unless they pay one and if you ever resolve it it says whenever an opponent casts a spell counter it unless they pay one this means that this can slow our opponent down and allow us to actually run out our two and three drops before they get way too far ahead on board and while most decks that run chancellors don't really cast them we can easily do that because we have the insane mana dwarfs that we were talking about earlier overgrown battlements and axe bang guardian so in today's video we are going to be taking this list through a league of modern and showing how insanely powerful it is against blue red murktide and hopefully other decks match one we're on the play with an absolute banger so we're keeping we'll go turn one fetch one goes canal we'll fetch up a triome here forest find draw we'll play out our wall of omens hopefully no spell snare into another wall too good and pwn considers on our instep probably a murktide regent deck opponent just plays out of land draw another ephemerate we'll go forest into wall and we find a chancellor and opponent wastes two mana and opponent's playing on going to discard so we'll let them we won't ephemerate here discard in a ragavan we find a solitude and again nothing from the opponent again they are going to discard we'll let that happen once again discard in a murktide find another land we'll just keep going land go now this in step i think i'll just go for an ephemerate because they don't let it resolve then we can resolve our kds and then ephemerate and that just resolves getting us land now uh, they're just discarding everything we'll ephemerate again on our upkeep on another ephemerate and another wall add a misty cast another wall of omens find another solitude wow and our opponent still has done nothing they cast out a mistress bobble and pass and then step we'll go for another ephemerate just happens i did more lands ephemerate a wall and upkeep they look at our top card we will fetch a response denying them information grabbing a forest playing around blood moon somewhat we draw battlements great draw we'll run that out again just resolves we'll just hold up solitude and ephemerate opponent runs out of land cast a drc into a mistress bobble conniving or surveilling keeping the card on top and then step will fetch in solitude and opponent counters that but now we get to resolve a chancellor and this game should be over find an axe bang guardian we'll just take this opportunity to resolve our chancellor and we'll also resolve our axe bang guardian opponent runs out of island casting an unholy heat surveilling a consider in the yard so we'll go for ephemerate this and opponent goes to counter spell but chancellor triggers again countering it and they scoop it up what a great way to win let's get on to sideboarding we'll take out our four chancellors and axe bang guardians for better removal and interaction game two our hand looks amazing opponent goes land a drc we'll go land into sentinel they run out of ledger shredder and they don't offer the trade All great draw let's go tap land go Opponent runs out another drc into a mistress bobble surveilling twice and conniving connive they get rid of a subtlety and they bobble our top card attacking with everything so we will trade off sentinel and we will solitude this ledger shredder as well down to forest so take this opportunity to run out of teferi and bounce this drc then rate a fine draw don't cast an ei exiling counter spell then plays out our drc Ooh, we found a sanctifier run that out turn off delirium don't cast a charm on their turn giving drc delirium Align them to kill our Teferi. Find a solitude. We'll run out blossoms and we find another solitude. We'll attack in for two. Don't cast an EI. Exiling a fetch land. Attack us for three and nothing else from them. No land still. So we'll just run out the battlements here. Attack in for another two. On our instep, they cast another charm. Putting a counter spell in their yard off the surveil. They play a land and attack us for three. Cast out a mistress bobble and they bobble us immediately. And they see us 
drawing the land. And we'll shock it in here. This allows us to hold up Solitude and Ephemerate. Attack the opponent for two. And on their upkeep, we will cast a Solitude in response to cast the Trust Down, which I'm also fine with. Just let that happen. And it goes for an Unholy Heat on the Sanctifier. We'll Ephemerate it. And they counter our Ephemerate. And then they run out of Ledger Shredder. We find a land. We'll send in with Solitude, offer a trade. It just takes it. We gain three. We'll just run out our Nicades. I don't cast a Bobble, surveilling over a Subtlety. And to a Consider, Conniving and Surveilling. It discarded a Murktide from the Connive. Then attacking for three, we will block the Arcades. And we just kill the DRC. Then they run out of Fury, killing our Solitude and Arcades. And they have another DRC. When we find a Rest in Peace, we will play that out. This means we can also just Solitude on their upkeep. This allows them to not connive here, so we'll do that. And we'll kill the Fury. Opponent runs out another Ledger Shredder. We find a land. We'll run out our Arcades. Play out land and attack them with our walls. And they triple block, so this means we can kill Ledger Shredder and their DRC. And then they Ottawara our Arcades. Pretty sweet play for them. That killed our wall. Opponent found an EI off the top, leaving a card on top. And they exile Lightning Bolt. They bolt our Solitude, conniving twice and surveilling once. They connive away a Lightning Bolt, and then cast another EI, keeping a card on top, exiling a land. And they attack us for five. And cast another Shredder. Find another Rest in Peace. Run our Arcades. Attack them for four. They attack with two Shredders. We'll block one. And they cast a seven mana Murktide. Find an Ephemerate. We'll just attack him with Wall. They just take four. We will ephemerate the wall. We'll draw two. Finding two lands. That should just be us dead. Yep, and opponent attacks for lethal, so we die. Get on to game three. Game three, our hand looks great. We'll go turn one sentinel. Opponent goes land monkey. We'll go temple garden shocked in and play out a wall. The best blocker in the world. Ooh, and we find a rest in peace. Opponent attacks in for two. We'll just block the wall. Opponent just plays land and holds everything up. We'll go land into a battlements. And we'll attack in for one. We're not blocking with Ragavan. Or with Esper Sentinel. And they unholy heat it. That's okay. Our attacks in with the monk. We'll block. Then they heat our wall. And we'll fetch up a triome. Find an Arcades. We'll lead on a wall of blossoms. When it counterspells that, so we'll just run out another wall. We find a Teferi. Again, we will block. And they just pass after that. We find a land. We'll lead on Rest in Peace. They counter. We'll grab a forest. Oh, and that was a mistake. So I got uh, planes and I could have cast some, something here. I'm going to cast an EI. Exile a land and plane it. They are committed to making us block. Draw another forest. We'll just go land into Arcades and we won't attack oh just played out a land we find a flood strand so we will lead on to fairy fairy just resolves amazing we will bounce our wall of omens cast out another wall drawing two off this one we find sentinel and a sanctifier we'll just run out flooded strand grab a hallowed fountain shock it in and play a sentinel and we'll bop the opponent for three in the air opponent cast an ei exiling mistress bobble they play out a bobble looking at our top they attack our to fairy we'll block with wall killing the ragavan then they bolt to fairy and concede the game go on to match number two Match two, we're on the play, but no lands. Our six is slow, but I think we have to keep this. I'll put back the Ephemerate. Let's go land and pass. Bone just runs out of Blood Strand. Elshnor and Fine Draw. They pick up a Triome. Play another land out. We draw a wall. We'll cast our Axe Bane Guardian. Bone grabs a Steam Vents on her instep. Oh, an opponent runs out of Cavern. Things are finally making sense. They run out of Risen Reef. If we draw a land, we can play Elshnorn. That probably just wants us the game. Just a wall. Find a land. Cast out another wall. Finding Forest. And we'll just pass. So it goes land into Omnath. And I think we're actually fine letting this happen. And they evoke a Fury. Reef triggers. Then they're going to kill our Axe Bane Guardian. We'll grab a Temple Garden. Ooh, we draw another Axe Bane Guardian. So we will slam our Elshnorn. That probably is just game over unless they do run a Teferi Time Raveler. And even even then it's still going to be very hard for them to do anything. I'm going to cast an Ottawara, so in response we'll evoke a Solitude, killing both of their creatures, and then both of those resolve. An opponent just lets us untap, so again we will just run out, Elishnorn. An opponent has a Prismatic Ending for 5, killing our Elishnorn. Find a land. We'll run out x -Men Guardian. And then an opponent plays their own Elishnorn. Yep, and Elishnorn just completely kills us, so let's get on to sideboarding. And we'll bring in two Teferis for two Chancellors. Game two, our hand is pretty bad, so we'll mull. Yep, our six is much better, so we'll keep this one. We'll lead on a Trium. Fairy's a great draw. We'll go Plains into Omen. Oh, it runs out of Breeding Pool and plays a growth on it. Sentinel will find draw. Just spread out our Guardian. And opponent just to Fairy. Probably bouncing the Guardian, yeah. We draw another land, run out Guardian, and we'll fetch Shock and run out of Sentinel. Opponent goes land into Omnath. Ooh, and we top deck a Chancellor. But I think we'll just go to Fairy and do Wall Blossom. Bouncing Omnath, running out Wall Blossom, find another land, and we'll attack to Fairy for one. Run out Shocks on the land and place an Elishnorn. And another land for us. We'll take up to Fairy, run out of Chancellor, another fetch land. Yeah, opponent evokes out of Fury, and we only have two ways of dealing with this creature and we're gonna be way too far behind so we're just gonna scoop him up here and get into match number three
In match number three, we got paired up against Elementals again. This matchup is just absolutely horrendous. We only can really win if we figure out a way to deal with Elshnorn and with our deck having no main deck answers. Again, we just lost the card, and whoever resolves it first basically wins the game. We did end up resolving it twice, but it didn't matter because they have Prismatic Endings and Teferis. So I thought I'd skip through this long game of just us trying to get rid of it, and we just end up losing because they have more answers than we do, and yeah, overall just think this is a horrible matchup. So let's get into match number four. Match number four, we're on the play with the fine hand. We'll be a chancellor, lead on our fetch, land for the opponent, land. So we'll save our Pesadu just in case we need it. We'll grab a temple garden here, find out wall, and another land. Opponent runs out of Ragavan after playing a swamp. Looks like we're up against Scam. We draw an Arcades. We'll play out Strand and pass. Opponent runs out of Spyro, discarding Spyro and Grief, getting two one ones. We'll fetch up planes here because they are a Blood Moon deck. Arcades is a great draw. We'll run out one of them. We'll run out card cast to Grief. Take our Solitude. Attacking with everything. We'll just kill the Ragavan, assuming that they have a Fury here. Yep, and they do cast a Fury. Go in our Wall of Omens. Draw another Ephemerate. Not a good draw. We'll just attack in for three and hold up all of our stuff. They attack in with the team. We'll block the Spyro. And they run out of Fury. So Ephemerate our Arcades. And we will not rebound the Ephemerate. We need a Solitude here. Wall of Omens, find draw, draw two, Guardian, and they land, stock this in, and play out our Guardian. We could still find a Solitude, find another Elishnorn, they run out of Fable, I'm gonna attack with just Fury, and we'll trade it off with Wall of Omens, I think. They trade off, the opponent runs out of Ragavan, find a land. So I think our only way of winning is finding a Solitude, so we will run out an Elishnorn, ephemerate our wall, draw two. Yep, and we have no outs here because they just have lethal on board, so we'll scoop them up. Take out our bad mana dorks for Veil, rest in peace and sanctifier garden hands to land like got a mole our six is way better we'll just put back up battlement we'll go land and hold up veil on turn one it goes turn one ragavan we'll grab a triumph and then we're going to play sanctifier and hopefully just completely brick wall this we'll grab a planes here opponent thought seizes us taking a wall of omens and they miss a land drop we'll run out wall hell short to find troll ephemerate it's also good and we're not going to attack here just worried about like fury and then them getting mana unlocked Chancellor. we will ephemerate our wall trying to find a land and again pass it runs out of dothy this fail is probably not getting better than just cycled so we'll cycle it and we'll ephemerate our wall adding a sentinel and to another sentinel so we'll run that out but we're not going to play another one because again we are worried about fury they attack in for three and nothing else rest in peace a fine draw damn that and again just pass chip in for three and then slam another dothy on land talking the temple garden play elishnorn and then we'll evoke a solitude i guess we should wait we can hard cast the next turn possibly oh it just goes for terminate so we will evoke the solitude discarding a chancellor and we'll just target both dothies they can ephemerate one of them and they do and elishnorn goes down draw another sentinel but we just need to hard cast the solitude now because if they get our elishnorn we will not be able to win so and i guess we'll start chipping in oh, no evokes a fury and this is what we were worried about like 10 turns ago and then they run out of spyro getting rid of ragavan and a malice for two creatures they attack we block we draw another sanctifier we'll run that out into both sentinels and we'll attack in for two they run out of dothy so we'll kill ragavan and block the spyro taking two and we find an arcades and they just concede so let's get into game three for game three our seven's a little weak but i think we have to keep this solitude's very powerful when it goes turn one thought sees they take our wall of omens find another solitude and they just go land go we find a land means we can run out this wall of blossom and blossoms finds another solitude when it evokes out of fury going our wall of blossoms to a dash ragavan and i'm fine just solituding this so we'll pitch a solitude to it find a chancellor and still very powerful so i'm not that concerned about this board state oh, it runs out of spyro discarding fury and necro we find a sentinel i don't think we should play it they attack us for four then cast a dothy so now it's go time. Get rid of this Chancellor. Kill Dothy. Oh, and I I stacked the triggers wrong. I thought, oh no. That's okay, I guess. God, that's such a bad punt. Sorry about that. Oh, we're we'll run out Sentinel. We're down to nine. Find a forest. And I'll trade off this turn for one of the one ones. Oh, it runs out of Fable. Find a wall of blossoms. We'll run that. They discard land on Dying Malice from the Fable. We'll block and ephemerate. Finding a garden. And we're down to three. They grief. We'll veil. Find another sanctifier. Ephemerate this wall. Another ephemerate. And I'm certain that we don't have any outs because of my punt, but we will play our Arcades, ephemerate the wall, and see if we maybe draw something insane yep and both of our trolls just didn't do it that's just my bad i'm sorry about that let's get on to match number five 
We're on the draw for match number five and have a fine hand. Reveal Chancellor. I'm gonna cast out a bobble into a DRC, but the bobble gets countered because of Chancellor. And they have another bobble. Turn rates a fine draw. We'll go turn one Esper Sentinel. Front cracks their bobble looking at our top card. Then Unholy Heats our Sentinel, paying for it. And they do trigger Delirium by a million over a DRC. Find our Trium off the top, but we'll just play at our Battlements here. It plays land and attacks us for three. Add our Trium and pass. Step they consider. They shock in the Steam Vents, attack for three. We find a wall of blossoms, run that out. That draws an Elishnorn. When it bolts us, I think we will go for a solitude on the DRC. And they have a counter spell. We'll let them surveil first. Put a land in the yard, and then we will evoke another solitude. Fill in the DRC. And we'll go for an ephemerate. That just happens, so we'll kill it again. They cast an EI, exiling an unholy heat, find our solitude. We will ephemerate our wall of blossoms in the upkeep. Find a battleman. Just cast out Elishnorn. We're gonna cast a shredder into another shredder. Conniving away a spire bluff. We find land, not helpful. Back in for four. When it pops us for two, we find a solitude. Back in for four. And their upkeep, we will go for a solitude. That just happens. We kill both of their birds. They play out a bobble and look at their top card immediately and fetch it away. Find a guardian. In, back in for seven and we're gonna hold this in case we find an arcades off the top that means that we can start drawing a bunch of cards and we have no shards of mana i'm gonna cast a shredder find another land back in for seven and now they're down to one Out our land and opponent scoops them up for sideboard take out chancellors and guardians for some better sideboard cards again game two our seven is just way too land light so we got them all our six is much better we'll just put back an arcades oh it goes land drc solitude okay draw i don't tax us for one after a land drop find a wall of blossoms we'll grab forest and run that out they consider in response a it resolves finding sentinel they run out another consider on the end step and they like the top card so they're keeping it both times but a land into a ledger shutter pack in will block if they bolt this that's fine yep and they do bolt it and i have a way of fury and surveils a card on top find a land we'll slam a rest in peace and we'll let them connive by running out of sentinel and they've been a merc tide off the connive they attack in for four we'll take it an opponent shocked in a steam fence we'll run out wall drawing a veil such a good draw and step they're bolting our sentinel and they keep the card on top with drc they cast an ei in response we're going to solitude the shredder they counter it connive and surveil they get rid of a ragavan off the connive surveil a land in the yard and they will veil which means they get another connive can i have a wave a bobble we find an ephemerate an ephemerate was a insane draw though we will ephemerate in response on the drc as well and opponent scoops them up we ended up two three overall this list was quite cool i think we should have actually ended three two with the league i did punt really bad against the scam player by stacking the solitude triggers wrong but it was kind of obvious like what our biggest problem was we lost to the same mirror match i mean not mirror match but same deck twice and it, like we literally cannot beat an elishnorn so i think in this list if you want to play it i think you need some answers like teferi in the main deck while it is a tad bit clunky i think having a catch-all answer like teferi to at least you know allow us to push ahead a little bit uh i don't think necessarily running prismatic and it would be very powerful but i think if you want like teferis or prismatic endings the esper sentinels did not seem very very good in this deck like we're we're trying to get to the late game anyway and like sentinel is just kind of like a like a very small road bump and it's not really you know establishing any extra like it's not really solving anything that's really unique for this deck this deck already has a bunch of card advantage we don't need more card advantage in a one drop creature that like slows your opponent down and gets you some you know small card advantage here and there so i think if you want something different i think it'd either be prismatic ending or teferi in the list but overall super fun deck i appreciate you and bentus i definitely said it wrong but that's the patreon who also you know said who sent this deck in so uh hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one